All right, thanks for joining us today, Justin James Golf. If this is your first time, the mission here is really simple, is to get you hitting the golf ball, hitting the driver longer and straighter. If that interests you, please like, please subscribe. If it doesn't, go away because you're probably not a lot of fun anyway. So this question today comes from Keaton Jones, all right, on Instagram. He's asking about flexibility, all right? Now here's the deal with flexibility and mobility as it pertains to golf and in general. There is a ton of great information out there, almost too much. You know, when you go watch Netflix at night, you can't find a show, there's like 18,000 really good shows. This is kind of how I feel about flexibility, mobility training, and over my career, having been exposed to a ton of great information, there's so much good info that you end up not doing anything. I think that's where some of you guys might be. That's why I developed this routine I'm about to show you. I use it personally almost every day, and then all the clients that I work with, it's a really simple go-to. Now, is this the best in the world, the best ever created? Does it address all of our problems? No, it doesn't, all right? But if we do this and we're consistent with it, we'll at least have some health and longevity to swing a golf club efficiently, if that makes sense. Again, not a comprehensive plan, but a good little routine for you that's simple. Seven foot dowel or stick, this is a product, stick mobility, can also use a PVC pipe, a lot of these stretches, um, some you'll be able to do on a wall as well. So let's just dive right into it. In the golf swing, I want the ability to have lat length to be able to get the club up high so I can generate some speed. All right, first stretch is just the long lat stretch. All right, easy enough. It's just like a bear out of hibernation stretching on a tree. The keys I'm looking for all right, are pushing the hands as far away as I can. Head is sinking through, and I'm trying to create length from the, my tailbone all the way up to the top of my head. All right, hands stretch as far as I can. Pretty self-explanatory, a good lat stretch. Number two, here's where we get more golf-centric, golf-specific. All right, this is just like a backswing stretch. So this will be about an arm's length off of your trail side. All right, I'm gonna grip this at the top. Shoulder's gonna go under my chin, and then I'm gonna drop my shoulder towards the turf. It's gonna put me in a good uh, kind of backswing position. Stretch the shoulder girdle, get some hip shoulder separation. Also, reinforce the posture, okay, because I see so many people in their backswing automatically turn flat. All right, when I'm doing this stretch, I'm maintaining my posture. Feel that, it's a fantastic stretch. Do that both sides. You can also play with hand positions, right hand on top, left hand on top, et cetera. Just those two alone are really gonna help you feel a bigger, more fluid turn. Now we go to some mobility stuff with some movement, all right? This is just, would be a shoulder floss kind of sweep stretch. Up and over is what I would call them. All right, now the magic here is the more loose my shoulder gets, the more I can move my hands in, yikes, and the more challenging it is. So what I'm looking for there, 10, 15 reps, just that shoulder floss, gonna get some mobility in that upper area. Then we can go ahead and sweep another variation of a shoulder floss here. Looking to kind of hit all the angles. Let's do five to 10 one side, five to 10 the other side. All right, you'll see a lot of fighters doing that stretch, a lot of rotary athletes just to work mobility in the shoulder. There's your next two. Here's a great one, a bow and arrow stretch. Grip this on the top. I'm gonna lengthen one side, I'm gonna shorten the other, and I'm just gonna get in this position here, okay? 10 to 15 seconds, feel your rib cage open up. If you have a, a stick with some bend in it, you'll be able to engage and press out and really feel that stretch. Really just a big side bending stretch. Side bending and coiling is a big part of the golf swing, right? We're side bending, we're coiling throughout the swing, in addition to stabilizing the core and these other things. So don't forget to work some side bending and that bow and arrow stretch hits that. All right, lastly, my absolute favorite is just rehearsing some back swings with this in a squat position on our back. And what we're gonna do is we're going to shift laterally into our trail side, then take this lead shoulder down, bump to the lead and go this way. Each rep, I'm gonna try to get a little bit deeper. Now, obviously this is opening up our hips, exposing us to ranges of motion in the swing. 
but it's also really important because remember what I said before, most golfers that I see, or a lot, immediately flatten out their shoulder plane. What this is cueing me to do is I'm taking this lead shoulder down. This is pointing just in front of the golf ball. Now, as I get into my lead side and I rotate through, that should be right in front of the golf ball. Most of your swings are gonna look something like, this is too flat, then this comes in too steep, or this is too flat here, and then this comes in too steep. This is gonna help reinforce good rotation and staying in that tilt. So there's some easy exercises for you to do every day. Lat length, bow and arrow stretch, shoulder floss up and over, backswing stretch, and then just working some full body rotation turns. Okay, if you're consistent with those, those are gonna make a big difference. There's some ideas for you guys. Simple routine, it's not the best in the world, but it's really effective. I use it personally. I know it can help you too. Now go get them, tee it high, let it fly. Uh -huh.